Avenged Sevenfold's Nightmare, one of my favorite all-time records, guys. And I listened to this album tirelessly over and over and over and over again. To the point where it saddens me that we have not done in an individual album ranking yet. So, that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. Doing a tier list ranking of each individual song. And I would say it's definitely an album that's in my top 5 of all time. Maybe even top 3, but I wouldn't say it takes the first spot. If you guys would like me to reveal what my favorite album of all time is, consider subscribing to the channel, guys, and hitting that notification bell so you guys know what's going on when I do reveal that very, very, very video. And if you guys would give this video a like so it's pushed out to more viewers like you guys, that would be amazing. And I'm not going to take any more of your time, guys. We're going to hop right into that freaking list. So how I'm ranking these is pretty straightforward. Uh, the usual, no curveballs. Just straight up gold, silver, bronze, aluminum. Aluminum for mediocre, good for bronze, great for silver, and goat tier gold. Now, I don't have a bad row because there's no use for it. I thought about adding it, but a little spoiler alert. I don't literally think there is one bad song on this record. But however, I don't think all the songs are gold. So stick around for whatever songs are not going to be gold, I guess, is what is my premise there. So... We're going to be starting off with Danger Line, and by the way, these aren't in any particular order. They is, is just random. This is not the actual track listing on the record. So we got Danger Line first. And this song, I think, is a good song, uh, as I'm going to say probably about the whole record. Um, I'm going to put it in bronze, though. I'm going to be a little more critical because, you know, I do think this album is really good. I think there's some songs that are just godly. I like how the song starts out. Kind of like a marching band pattern. Really cool chorus and uh, not a bad solo. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot in this freaking video. So <laughs> that's all right. We're going to move on to Save Me. Now, this might get me some hate. This might get me some shit. But um, I'm actually going to put this song in the gold tier. And also, I think that this song is... Their best instrumental that they have ever written, period, so far. It goes all over the place. I feel like it's progressive at points. The soloing is just absolutely insane. Like, 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 just go listen to the song if you haven't. And you would think that this is an instrumental. I think I just said it was an instrumental, but it's not actually. It's got vocals in it as well, which is really, really fucking cool. And it's actually really, really cool vocally as well. And then moving on to fiction. Now, some might say this. And I kind of feel like it is, but I don't want to say it is 100%. A lot of people have said it. That this this is uh, the Rev Suicide Letter, this song Fiction right here. And this was the last record, by the way, that he wrote with the band before he passed away. I believe in 2009, 2010. And a lot of people say that their music hasn't been the same. It hasn't been as good. I feel like it hasn't been as good since he's left the band, to be honest. So... Uh, that's just a matter of opinion, but for this particular song, this song can't be anything under gold, in my opinion. It's just, it would be blasphemy. It's a well-written song. The piano line at the beginning, actually really throughout the whole entire song, is absolutely incredible. Do, 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 do. They did record some vocals with The Red before he passed, and they included that on the track that you'll hear today. Which is really awesome that they kept it in there because by the time they recorded the album and whatnot, he was passed away. Next, we will move on to Tonight the World Dies. Um, I'm going to put this in bronze. It's a strong track, don't get me wrong. It has a very like Alice in Chains grunge kind of vibe to me. Very uh, minor key acoustic guitar intro. There are some like those like powerhouse vocals in the song um, once I think you get towards like the middle of it. Uh, but pretty low-key for the most part. Cool song, strong track, not the best on the record, though. And then we have So Far Away, which is paying homage to their fallen brother, uh, The Rev, then. He passed away after they wrote this, wrote this song, rather. This song goes in the gold. And even if it wasn't about The Rev, even if he didn't pass away and they still wrote the same exact song, I still feel like that this would still be a gold song. It's just that damn good. And then we have Victim, which I, th I feel is very, very underrated, actually, to tell you the freaking truth. I'm actually going to put this in silver, and that might get me some hate to any of the viewers out there. Or that might get me some love. You never freaking know. 
But that's not what this is about. It's about my perspective. And I always just find myself enjoying this freaking song. I don't know why. It just moves me. And that's the reason it goes into silver. God Hates Us, the heaviest track on the record. Where does this one fall? Does this one go in the gold or silver? I don't. I think it's going to go in the silver. I don't believe that it's a gold song. I think it's close. But silver is very appropriate for this song. By far the heaviest song on the record. Not a lot of screaming vocals on this record. In fact, I think this might be the only track with, like, growls and screams, whatever you want to call them. It has a breakdown in it. And the solo is absolutely insane. It's very Dimebag Daryl-like, the solo. Very thrashy throughout the uh, whole entire song. And then we have Buried Alive, the Stairway to Heaven track. This gets compared to. Even M. Shadow said that. And I'm not saying it sounds exactly like Stairway to Heaven. But I can understand why he said that. Because... It starts out slow, just like Stairway to Heaven, and then you know how Stairway to Heaven at the end picks up. Well, so does Buried Alive as well. And it gets into like a very, like, kind of just like, I don't want to say thrashy, but just like a old school metal kind of part at the end. It's it's heavy. It's it's cool. It's catchy. And there's really, really dope solos throughout it. It's very Megadeth-like with the soloing in this song. Uh, but this song definitely gets a gold ranking, in my opinion. Strong songwriting on this record, I must say. We already have four gold songs. Two silver, just two bronze. Okay, we have three more to go. Welcome to the Family. I believe this is track number two on the record. And I do like this song quite a bit. Uh, I put it in silver, I'd have to say. Not, not higher than that. I think silver is a very appropriate ranking for that song. And then we have the title track next. And that's Nightmare. And... Yeah, I remember hearing this song first off of this record. It wasn't the first song I heard by Ben Sevenfold, just the first off of this record. I had a friend named Jose in high school that I used to hang out with, and he was freaking out about it. And he kept playing it throughout the whole freaking day at school, which was fine by me, because I instantly became a fan of it, and still I am. And I would put this song easily in gold. Like, that's not even a question. That's a joke if you put it in anything but gold, in my opinion. And then we have... Natural Born Killer, last but not least. A really, again, really, really strong track. And I, w I honestly have to say, I put this one in gold or silver. It's definitely not going down here in one of these two. One of these two. Oh, man, where do I put this? Where would you put Natural Born Killer for those familiar with the song? Really underrated track, in my opinion. Doesn't get a lot of love. Ah, oh, man, where do I put this? Honestly, it's going in gold. It's going in gold. It reminds me a little bit of, like, if you took... Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction and maybe combined it with I don't know, maybe like Metallica for lack of a better term. And that's that song in my opinion. It's just very rock and roll but meets metal at the same time. Very, very, very emphatic chorus as well. I just got done listening to this track right before starting this tier and I had to listen to it all the way through. I was just going to skim through it because I forgot what the chorus sounded like for some reason. But I had to listen to the whole entire song. It was just that good. So that goes into gold. What do you guys think of my list? Do you think it's absolute freaking garbage? Do you guys agree with it? Like, I want to know. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. And we'll have a discussion about it. Suggest any other artists you'd like me to do. Just in this format as well. Or any other type of videos that pertain to like rock, you know, or metal music. Um... That's what I sent around. Even alternative music is okay, too. But just, yeah, make really good suggestions, guys. And I will see to it that your video gets made and let you guys know about that by clicking the notification bell. If you guys click the notification bell, then it'll alert you when I'm uploading videos just like this. Hit that like button as well for the algorithm. And subscribe to me, guys. It really, really helps me out a lot and gets me to my goals of wanting to do this full time. All right, guys. Until next time, I'm hopping off.